Hey, what's going on everyone? It's me again, Winston. I'm going to be working on my kids' bunk beds. The dimensions is going to be full size, which is pretty large for two small kids, one on each bunk. But, you know, we want to make them as comfortable as possible. Plus, you might want to add a couple of things or two. So, let me show you how I went about it. Now, for a full size bed, normally it would measure 75 inches long versus 54 inches wide. This is one and a half inches thick times two. So we're gonna have to add another three inches to the overall dimensions. So I'm gonna make this, instead of 75, I'm gonna make it 78. But I'm going to keep these at 54 inches long, okay? Right around here. I've decided I'm gonna cut this side off due to the fact that that side, well this side actually looks a whole lot better than that edge. So this is where I'm gonna cut right here. I'm going to use this straight edge to act as my guide for my circular saw. Before we begin, now that I got my cuts all made, measured out to the specs that I want, which was 78 for the longest pieces, that's going to go on the outside, and 54 inches for the inside, for the, for the width. This is how the layout's going to be. Now I'm going to start putting the uh, corners together. Since it is a bunk bed, I made two sets just for the uh, just for the upper and lower bunks. After joining the corners using the Craig Jig Mini, I've assembled the corners like so. If you want to see how I did that, please refer to my Craig Jig Mini video. What I'm going to make is the slat rails. Since I don't have a table saw, I'm going to be using my circular saw, but I'm going to use this little guide, okay? Now that the slat rails are done, let's put them together. Start from the middle and work my way out. You can get a couple of helpers, you know, maybe they can help you sand your work. Now that the mattress frames are done, let's get to working on the rest of the bunk, shall we? After making careful marks of where I plan to cut, I've already pre-imagined what the uh, brackets are going to look like, so I made measurements from the ground to the lower bunk, the spacing in between the lower and the upper bunk so that there's enough you know, head clearance for the occupant below not to hit their head and also where I'm going to cut off the top and I'm going to do that for the other two sets that way we have all four corners so I'm going to get right to it once I have my final measurements Put together start clamp I'm gonna start clamping them down well this is just my method but once I have them clamped down I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting them down to the size that I need them to be now that I got all four of my corners I'm gonna now start measuring where I'm gonna put the pocket holes just to save myself a little bit of time I'm using this piece of two by four and I cut it down to one and one quarter inches and I'm going to use this guide for my jig to, you know, start making the pocket holes for the ladder system on, uh, for the ladder sides, like so. I line it up, see? Voila. And then I start making my pocket holes. Now 
now that the pocket holes are already created, let's go ahead and assemble these two parts together. One down, three to go. Now, I'm going to be connecting two corners together using a two by four as a ladder system. And I'm gonna line this up, I'm gonna line them up using a square. I'm gonna make sure that the angles are perfect too. One side done, on to the other side. One side down, another to go. Now for Helping me to guide the bunk and its placement, I'm going to be putting this support and all it is is just a 2x4 that's just been ripped in half and I'm just going to align that like so. I'm going to secure it with glue and screws. Once you finish that, repeat for the other corners, including the upper ones, okay, for the upper bunks. I'm securing the bunk or bed frame with six on the long side and three on the narrow side. I'm gonna do that for all four corners. Little dusty in here, but progress is finally finished. I got all four corners, this, this, and of course here and there. And uh, this is uh, as sturdy as it gets. All right, I did it all down here for the lower bunk too. And just in case you were wondering, the slats were made out of 2x4 material, each of them screwed down after they were glued in place. I didn't opt for the uh, reduction in height by removing a piece to fit this slat rail because their mattress was, well, it wasn't all that thick so I needed to raise it up a little so that they, they won't hit themselves as they get in the bed. And this is the end result of some two very happy clients. Good night. Sleep tight. As a safety feature, I added a little gate at the request of the occupant on the top. She wanted to let her feet dangle or have a little opening on the space. That way, if they wanted to watch or play video games here on TV, it has a little opening right then and there. Otherwise, if you choose to, you can just close it off all the way. So, before I finish this video, I wanted to give a big shout out to Mr. J. Bates for inspiring me to do this uh, bunk bed for my own children. And I couldn't have it any other way. I looked around, I, I found the, the, feasible, the most feasible solution and it's the cheapest by far that I've, out of all the ones that I've looked at and you know, much realistically this is like by far the best design I've ever uh, come across so thank you again Mr. J Bates for making that happen uh, if you have any questions comments concerns about the video please you know feel free to post them in the uh, comments section below and don't forget to like share subscribe and maybe you want to try this out yourself who knows <laughs> all right until then 
Thank you very much. Until next time, take care. Good luck. Don't do anything crazy out there, kids. All right? See ya. Bye.